It's a popular destination. The 3,000-foot Bob Carey Pedestrian Bridge opened in 2008, connecting Omaha and Council Bluffs. The Bob has its own social media profile and web pages, but what it doesn't have is easy access to the parks along the river and north downtown Omaha. But I learned that's about to change. Whether it's walking, running, or biking, soon your journey on the Bob Carey Pedestrian Bridge won't have to stop at Riverfront Drive. That's because the Baby Bob Pedestrian Connector Bridge project has officially broke ground. The pedestrian bridge will further connect Omaha to Council Bluffs in entertainment, recreation, housing, employment, education in both cities. With developments on both sides like the renovated riverfront parks, Tom Hannafin Rivers Edge Park, the Luminarium, and the Capital District, in less than a year you'll have access to it all. A healthy urban core should include housing, jobs and commerce, education, arts and entertainment, health and wellness, and then connect these areas of focus with mobility. Fifteen years ago, I never would have imagined the enduring impact that the Bob Carey Pedestrian Bridge would continue to have on both of our adjacent communities as well as our citizens. The Baby Bob, once built, connecting pedestrians and cyclists to 10th and Mike Fahey streets, is just a few blocks from the future streetcar stop at 10th and Capitol. The idea of being able to get on the streetcar and come down here and get off and go right out there is really, really exciting. Larry Foster, president of the Back to the River Foundation, says it's a project that he's been thinking about for quite some time. He shared these statistics about traffic on the Bob. The busiest day is Sunday. The busiest month is June, with the busiest week being, of course, the College World Series, with traffic reaching up to 40,000 on the bridge. Hawkins Construction will be leading the approximate $7.5 million project with the goal of opening in October of 2024.